guys, okay, so I'm back today to do a grails and fails video, and this is going to be holy grail products that I've really been loving for the past few months or years where I've just discovered and I've really just been falling in love with them and products that I have been trying out and I don't really like so much. And plus, I really like the title, Grails and Fails is such a cute title. I don't know, but this is the skincare edition, and this is going to be something, everything that, um, I've been loving so far for skincare and some things that have not worked out for me. So starting off, I really want to say that this is going to be something that is a, really a holy grail product. Um, this is the Paracone MD Cosmeceuticals Hypoallergenic Gentle Cleanser 8 Fluid Ounces. So basically, I'm obsessed with this cleanser. This is something that does not break me out. It makes my skin like baby soft and really I've tried... Um, every cleanser under the sun and I've never really experienced any benefits from it um, it was just something like oh does it break me out or it doesn't you know it was something it was things like that it wasn't like there was really a benefit to cleansing my skin with this product but this one there really is and I'm obsessed with it my mom recommended it to me and it is just something that I really suggest you guys check out especially if you have like acne prone um, skin because well I'm gonna tell you my skin just in case you guys want to kind of um, you know hear it from the horse's mouth um, my skin is oily combination skin I'm sensitive and acne prone and uh, quite recently my skin has actually gotten a little less oily so I'm keeping it under control but it's still you know it is what it is but anyway I really 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 love this stuff it's amazing so the next product I want to talk about is going to be the ultra rich cream uh, L'Occitane Shea Butter uh, seven and ounces seven ounces of products in here and this I got actually while I was on a cruise ship with my family we went um, on a cruise and I was really excited to try this out uh, mainly because I forgot my cream and there was like a duty-free section on the ship so we went to Bermuda and um, you know I really love this like I picked it up really just wanting um, a good lotion because you know I was gonna tan and my skin was gonna dry out but I ended up really really loving this and even after I came back I started using this religiously and this is really great uh, like a summer product or if you live in um, you know if you're going out somewhere or if you live in a warmer climate um, this is really perfect for you because this gives you a beautiful sheen on the legs and on the arms anywhere that you put it not only does it moisturize but it gives you this incredible sheen that really just kind of like um, extends through the whole entire night or through the whole day like you're uh, there's there's no glitter particles in here. Um, there's no it's not um, Anything like you know, it, it doesn't it smells like a cream really like lost tang creams That doesn't really have like a specific scent to it just like a little bit cosmetic ish and there's no glitter no shimmer no anything but your skin just really looks healthy and glowy the whole entire night or the whole entire day after you put this on it's really so this is something I've been loving and definitely gonna repurchase it um, as you can tell I'm almost already gone so the next product I want to talk about is going to be my ocean salt uh, lush face and body scrub now I've gotten through oh my god I've it's, it's a mess but um, you know, this is something that I've really, I, I've went through countless bottles of this. I mean, tubs, whatever. So this is a scrub from Lush, and you guys probably have heard about it, but I'm just going to give you a brief overview. It's, um, you know, a vodka-infused cocktail for, uh, for bright, fresh skin. Go coconuts with our best-selling sea salt scrub. And I love this because it has a good amount of sea salt in there to exfoliate. But it's not something um, that it's going to break me out or irritate my skin because my skin is very sensitive. So if it's really harsh, it scrubs on my skin, my skin will feel it and break out. I like this because it's a good amount of scrub. There's a good amount of grains in here. So I actually feel like I'm scrubbing my skin rather than a lot of scrubs for gentle skin that really have no beads at all. And I feel like I'm just massaging some oil into my skin or something, you know. Um, this actually has the beads. It smells really nice. It smells like the beach. It smells like salty, sea salty type, you know, whatever. Um, makes my skin feel bright and nice and clean and feels like I've scrubbed, you know, some dead skin away and really hasn't broken me out or anything for years. Okay, next product is going to be my Bioderma and this is 
Oh my god, I've heard about this for years and I really haven't um, been able to get my hands on it mainly because there's really no reputable dealer that sells it in the US, like none that I have found. So if you guys know of any, please link it down below. Um, there's no Ulta near me, I don't know if Ulta sells these, I've maybe heard that Ulta sells them, I'm not sure. But this is the Bioderma, this is from Paris, this is a Parisian brand and I got this while I was traveling in Paris in the summer. Anyway, um, I love this, I use this to remove my makeup and this is something that I've been using like makeup wipes whatever uh, you know any whatever makeup wipe and there's just no comparison I there's been times where I've literally um, went through my face with, make with a makeup wipe and then afterwards I went um, with this on a cotton ball and I just kind of cleansed my face and my cotton ball would be brown like this really takes off so much makeup and my face has never looked better. My friends have complimented me on my skin and it's something that has completely cleared away my whole entire face. Like no irritation bumps, I have no redness, I barely break out. Um, you know, it's something that has really helped my skin to no extent and it's something that every time I wear makeup and I take it off with my Bioderma, um, the next day my skin looks better. You know how usually when your face is caked up all day with makeup, um, afterwards your skin doesn't look so good, you know, it's been dehydrated, I don't know, it's lacking oxygen. This is just a miracle. I am obsessed with it and I know you guys have heard about it, but you have to give this a try. This is like something I will never go without for the rest of my life. Like, I'm in love. I love this. Speaking of products that I'm obsessed with, this is Lancome Bifacial um, Makeup Remover. This is something also that's kind of, people have talked about. I really love this stuff. It's kind of expensive. This is a, a 4.2 fluid ounces. Um, I don't know, if you wear makeup every day for like work or something, this can get kind of expensive. It's like in the 40s or 40 or 30, $38, something like that. I used up a travel size bottle of this while I was in Europe for two and a half weeks, but um, I really love this, mainly because it gently removes all your makeup and it just does what it's supposed to. There's really no, like, when you're tired from a long day of work, you're not going to be sitting there rubbing your eyes. Just one cotton ball and it just takes all your makeup off. There's really no residue and it's worth it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, your the basis of your skin and your makeup lies in your skincare. If your skin is bad, your makeup's gonna look bad. End of story. So, yeah, guys, like, you have to invest in your skin. Even removing your skin, uh, your makeup, I feel like, is an investment. If you're gonna pay thirty, forty, fifty dollars for foundation and you know your blushes and whatever, you could pay forty dollars and whatever how many dollars for your removal process. That's just my opinion and, and I've just been adoring uh, recently has been the Algenist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. This is what it looks like and I've never had an eye cream that actually does something. Um, I've tried a lot of eye creams, the Bobbi Brown ones, um, Clinique ones, Cora's ones. I've tried a lot. Um, Lancome ones and what I never really saw a difference in has been um, I've been starting to get since I've been getting a little bit older um, 24 20 25 I've been getting uh, a little bit of the crow's feet going on from smiling also you I started getting like lines underneath my eye and my eye just in general looked tired it looked puffy it just didn't look as vibrant as it used to before and I've tried creams and it would either depuff my eyes or I really wouldn't see much of a difference. But this actually changed my skin. My eyes look brighter. They feel bigger. They're less puffy. The crow's feet like that I've been getting a little bit of went away. I had these weird little lines underneath my eye that completely went away. Um, I owe it all to this stuff. The only thing is that um, I don't like the fact that it comes in a pot. It's hard to remove when you have nails. But other than that, I'm completely obsessed with this. This is my second bottle, and it's like $80, so um, I wouldn't be recommending it or repurchasing it if it wasn't working. So it works. This is holy, holy grail. Like, ah! Uh, so um, now on for the stuff that hasn't been working for me. Um, oh, wait, no. I have one more product that actually has worked for also, me. Also, another thing that's been working for me has been the Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Hydrating Serum. And... 
I tried a few C no not a few I tried to see boo beauty product things they've been going around YouTube and um, I really like this this is a really small bottle and I don't use this all the time it's one fluid ounce um, and you just spread it all over your skin I usually do this every other day or so when I remember and it's just very light it's like a light serum and you kind of just I mean I don't know why I'm doing this but you just kind of rub it in and it um, goes into your skin you see if you want like I'll have the website linked below I'm not sponsored by them they don't know I'm doing this video but um this is just kind of a, a serum that you put on your skin it helps with environmental stress um, it's saying shake well oh shake well before use I've actually never shaked it to shit but um all right apply morning and evening to face um if you apply this morning and evening it would be gone in like two weeks literally and this is like forty dollars so i'm not sure who they're trying to kid um one ounce for morning and evening is preposterous i'm sorry um but this is kind of like the middle of the road since next products we're gonna go it's gonna just keep going downhill so this is kind of like the middle of the road product i wanted to share with you guys um if you have money to splurge and you just want to keep buying these for forty dollars every two weeks then go right ahead these are great um hydrating serum it's just really soft and nice on your my skin it preps my skin i feel like it keeps my skin rather hydrated um i mean my skin hasn't been really been dry or anything so i can't say from someone who's had very dry skin but this was just fun it was good you know, it, it's not bad. Um, it's not bad. Okay, so this is the middle of the road product, which is funny because now we're gonna keep just go, keep going downhill. Um, the first Quora is Wild Rose, um, daily brightening and refreshing buff cleanser. And this cleanser is actually came with a it came like with a little like as a kit um, with the Wild Rose uh, brightening what is it like facial night smoothie or something it's called or like face night smoothie or face night cream um, I really love the night cream so what I found funny was that when I used this and I brought this to me with, to Europe um, I thought I would be okay using this um, you know every other day or whatever and this has like that oatmeal formula where it has like those little beads and it really really like irritated my skin and gave me these horrible breakouts my skin would be raw from trying this like the beads I don't know what is going on but like they feel like speckles of like shards of glass I mean that's a little dramatic but you know what I mean like on my face since it's so sensitive I literally felt like shards of glass on my skin and it would just start breaking me out everywhere so I do not recommend this at all and I think you can buy this separately as well it's like 20 bucks don't get it if you have sensitive skin um this doesn't buff anything away in fact it just gave me acne so okay then we're gonna start with this this is the Bajia bright white mask um this is a face mask you put this on and um I don't know what's going on here something's hanging off the tube you put this on wait for it to dry and you're supposed to be able to just peel it off like in one strip um, it's kind of like a poor I don't know like poor cleansing clay it's white um, I'm not gonna show you it you know you get the gist I hate this because it's annoying like it's so annoying with all these products out there why can't you make a product that is easy to remove this no matter how little I put on no matter how much I put on there's always the same exact problem and I'm just so sick of it because I know there's a million other masks I could try that could work for me that I don't have to have to deal with this issue and it's the issue of I can't remove the mask it takes me forever it gets into like here and like I'm like rubbing my face and scrubbing my face and peeling it like strip by strip and it never peels all the way I could put half a bottle on my face and it will never peel smoothly all the way through I have to like crack at it and I have to like drag little pieces from my face and then I have to exfoliate and then I have to wash it again and it's just so annoying that you know what like it's not even worth it like the benefit that it gives me it's just kind of like an F you in my face because after half an hour of trying to well not half an hour but it legit takes me like 10 minutes to take this off my skin and it's just not worth it so no and no okay this product I really wanted to like I heard people talk deodorant. about um you know if you guys don't know uh, all of our deodorants are secret deodorant 
deodorants contain aluminum which gets into your pores which may go into your breasts and you and it can cause uh, breast cancer so that is the big thing is that um, all of the other I don't I can't show you the ingredients but have aluminum in it this one doesn't this one is a healthy deodorant because it doesn't have aluminum um, I have the scent I love La Vanilla I have their perfume it smells awesome and this one was um, you know the lavender vanilla and it really sucks because it doesn't work like it doesn't work as a deodorant um it's just oh god it sucks because I'm not the kind of person that smells you know what I mean like I can put on the deodorant really quickly and for a few days I feel like I don't even need deodorant I swear to god I just don't I never had the issue you know what I mean and with this I feel like I need to reapply like two to three times a day which really sucks because it's a big hassle I mean I'm still using this but that's my only issue is that I mean, Guys, I mean thank you so much for sticking around and I will talk to you all very very soon bye guys